Hey guys, welcome back to my monthly ship opinions video. This time I'm going to be looking at the tier 4, I think they're called the tactical escorts. So, starting off with one that probably most people would recognize from Deep Space Nine, the Defiant class. It's a really small ship overall, I think it doesn't have that many decks, but it's really compact. It had one of the notable features of it over other ships was the addition of the uh, pulse phasers, which I think are mounted there, 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 and there, which in the game are just basically a phaser turret, or phaser cannons. But the nacelles are basically built right into the body. It's essentially one giant unibody. I'm not quite sure what those are. Like, I wonder if they're like antimatter pods or sensor suites or something. But one interesting thing that never actually made it into the uh, show was this module right here was supposed to be detached and be like a warhead never made it in, but it's an interesting thought, and I think the game actually adds that in uh, later on if at like a higher tier. So if you're playing this and you want that, it is an option. Uh, as I said, the, the nacelles are mounted into the hull, which I don't know if those are, I think that's supposed to be the impulse engine, I could be wrong, but the shuttle bay is actually right here, it's like a drop down shuttle bay similar to the NX class. Looks like those are panels that can come off. Or can't get the angle right, but it looks like right here you've got extendable panels. That's kind of interesting. It honestly looks like this notch can be taken out and maybe replaced with something. That's my thought, but I don't think you know there's any official or unofficial thing that says that's the case. Really, not much to say on this design. It's small. It's definitely it's smaller than the saucer of the galaxy. I don't remember how big it is compared to the saucer of the Constitution, but it's it was a warship that they classified as an escort. But it was designed to face the Borg, and then got scrapped when the or mothballed when the Borg threat wasn't as big, and then was revived for the Dominion War when it was decided that Deep Space Nine needed a bit more firepower than. The runabouts. So, I don't know what those are either. It's a bunch of just details on these that you don't notice. Uh, you got all the red from the Federation markings on it. And then the registry is right there on each nacelle, and the name is right there. It's like you've also got the registry on the bottom of the nacelle. Yeah, right there on each. Let's see here. It's like the registry's right there, and the big name's right there, so it can be identified from almost any angle, I'd say. Moving on to the Gallant class. Out of the four we're going to look at today, this one is honestly, I don't know, it's my least favorite, I'd say. But it just looks too... I don't know, I, I think the, my problem with it is the these right here. I think they're the weapons emplacements. I really think they are, but whenever, but in the game, if you go to the pylons, it changes it, so I don't know, and I know that's also something I no normally do, mess with the different images you can do, but, so I really don't know what that is. Again, you've got the integrated nacelles into the body, bridge is probably right up here like normal, I'd assume the uh, shuttle bay is on the bottom like the other one. As far as registry and whatnot, let's see here. There's the name, 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 registry, registry. But other than that, I'm really not seeing any other spots where it would be. I mean, maybe I'm overlooking it, but... Let me reset this real quick. Zoom in. Looks like it might have a phaser strip right there. No, I don't think that is, because it stands out. I mean, these ships are capable of phasers too. Even in even the Defiant in the show, is seen firing phasers, but it's mostly uses its turrets or cannons or other pulse phasers. I think is what they call them. And I don't see a discernible impulse. Oh wait, I bet that's it right there—the impulse engine. Um, this kind of sticks up for no reason, in my opinion. And don't know what those are. What are the running lights? Kind of an odd spot for them. Normally, like the port and star. Oh wait, there's some port and starboard lights. Okay. Next up is the vigilant. 
which, in my opinion, looks like they went with the Defiant and streamlined it and added points. I'd say the def this is my favorite. Oh, I got a fifth one to look at. Okay, this is my favorite of the four, or and the three that are free. I mean, granted, like I said, you can you know customize them. Like if you want to go with the Defiant Hull or the Galliant. Oh, hey, there's a Galliant refit. I might take a look at that after we finish the these. Let's see, is there there's refit for the Galliant and the Vigilant? So. We'll look at that in a second. Um, the nacelles seem more... The, the whole ship just seems more streamlined, and the bridge actually seems flatter. It's kind of... Assuming it's on the top like most ships. Probably the shuttle bay there. Interesting right here. It looks like those could possibly come down and, like, if you... see, brought them down, it might be serve as a landing platform, just resting on the nacelles. I don't know how well that would work. I think, like, the runabouts rest on their nacelles when they land. Um, yeah, I mean, not much to say there. The Sao Paulo is an evolution of the Defiant, which in my opinion takes the best parts of the Vigilant and the Defiant and puts them in one. Got like an X, you got the turrets there. Ah, the glares on these is annoying. I don't know where the light source is. It must be like right here, but off. I don't know. Especially on these white ones, it's annoying. Um, but as far as the design, I, I prefer this one uh, of the tier 4 available, but if you're not willing to pay, I'd prefer the Vigilant. But again, you can also mix and match parts. This one actually has like the side view of the nacelle that the other ones didn't have. Got more discernible impulse engines. Again, that thing right there. Right here, it looks like a disconnect point for like launching that. Flipped around in weird angles. Oh, the light is crazy on this. So there's the registry, register or the name. Registry is on each cell and under it's the name. Next one is I didn't expect to look at this one, but the Valiant, which looks like they took the gal the idea they were going for with the Galliant and decided, what if? Actually, I think this is a the the might be the second or the first purchasable ship in a Star Trek Flash game called Flash Trek. Um, I don't remember. What's interesting is the colors right here. I it's like what? I don't know what those are for. Are these? Of course, like, granted, I don't know what's behind the model design. Whenever I look at these, I just kind of give my opinions. It's like good armaments here. It looks more aggressive than all of them. The fewer engines. Those honestly look like they could disconnect and be like drop mines or something. This one even has like aft right there. This, you can see it on the front right there and then a spot on the back. This one actually does not have the pods that the other ones do. There's the pods there. That one doesn't have the pods. Sao Paulo and the Valiant, or the Valiant and the Vigilant are the only two without the pods. Eh, escape pod hatches. I don't think I pointed those out. Okay, so let's go to the Galliant and let's see about switching it to the refit. I hadn't actually looked at this before. I didn't know this was an option. That's... I'm not sure that's any better. I kind of like this part right here. They Like they gave it a fin. But I think... I feel like the, these mounted points work better with the, the refit design though. I don't know. That's not something I've seen before. This nose seems more. It kind of seems with the Galliant and this Valiant, they were kind of going for a bird of prey design, but the Starfleet eyes it. Like a more, maybe a Romulan, like one of the early birds, but I don't know. I do like this design more than the original Galliant, though. A little bit of a. I don't understand, like, little points like that. D does it serve any purpose? But by far my favorite part on this model is this one. Is that I don't know what it serves. It just looks good. 
Okay, and I think the Vigilant also had a refit, so let's switch over to that. Anything to pad out runtime. The turrets are definitely more, uh... I think that would be the nacelles. Yeah, the turrets are definitely more pronounced on the refit. As for the nose, what would that be? The hull? No, the hull's the overall shape. It looks like it takes a bit of a cue from the galleon with the hull shape. It doesn't seem quite as streamlined. But it still seems to work very nicely. I, I feel like that would actually work better. But, I st but this is alright. Then this is, seems to be recessed. It was a trend towards the end that towards some of the with some of the more tactical focused ships that um uh, the the bridge was recessed and like put between attach points so those like more protected or whatnot. Let's see the saucer. What are we switching here? Just the nose. Yeah, that nose definitely doesn't work with the refit. This does so, but it doesn't. I think I prefer the original Valiant on this one. Then the pylons. Is there, is there even any? Oh wait, I think there's a bit of a difference if you look at it from the bottom. Looks like they get a bit more thickness to them. They look more... Oh, those little blue parts are... Her. This part right there switches with the pylons. You get a little... It's just the whole thing gets a little more streamlined and aggressive, in my opinion. Hmm. And again, you got like an attach point that I don't know what it's for. But, anyway, that's the look at the Tier 4, I believe they're tactical escorts. I, could, I don't even remember off the top of my head. Stay tuned next month, and I believe I have the science vessels left, and then the following month I'll start with the Tier 5s. Thanks for watching! To keep voting consistent at the tier 5 level as with the other tiers, I'm breaking up the 6 sets of ships into 2 sets this time. For this first set, we have the Star Cruisers, the Advanced Escorts, and the Reconnaissance Science Vessels. As always, follow the link in the description if you want to vote, and have a great day.